Hello students, I am Barsha Vaishali, your teacher for today's class. Once again, I welcome you all to this special online class where we will be continuing the chapter Reach for the Top which was dealing with the success story of Maria Sharapova. I do hope that you all remember whatever we have learnt in our previous class and now we will be proceeding further to know more about the successful life of Maria Sharapova. Okay, so let's start. That toughness runs through Maria even today. The strength which she has in her mind, it's even visible now, it is even quite evident today. It was the key to her bagging the women's singles crown at Wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise to the world's number one spot the following year. So, the success mantra which she has, the reason why she became so successful very very quickly was the toughness she had towards her goal. That was the reason she bagged, bagged means winning, B-A-G-G-I-N-G, -G -G, bagging is winning the position in the women's singles Wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise. Meteors, if you know, fall very fast in a twinkling of an eye. It is very instant, it is very fast. So similarly, her success was also very fast. So whatever success she got, it was very fast. So that was her meteoric rise to the world number one spot the following year. The next year also she rose to the number one slot. She got the first position just after getting the women's single crown at Wimbledon in 2004. So it was very fast. It was very quick for her to get this success. And it was all because of that mental toughness, that focus of her on her goal. Now let us move to the next part. While her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans, for the youngster herself there appears to be no room for sentiment. Sentiment means the emotional feeling. Here it is said, you would see she came from Siberia. Siberia is quite a cold country, frozen plains of Siberia, it's very very cold. Maria had made a special place in her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans. For the youngster herself, there appears to be no room for sentiment. Her success story started from Siberia, which is a very cold place, frozen plains of Siberia. Her journey started from Siberia and now she had reached the topmost position, summit is the topmost position in the women's tennis and she has touched the hearts of her tennis fans. The tennis fans like who are very much impressed with the uh, playing uh, skills of Maria and those who have heard her struggles, her sacrifices, they are very very emotional for the tennis star Maria. But this young girl, this youngster, she had no room for sentiment. She herself doesn't feel so emotional about it. This says that she's a very strong and brave girl who thinks those were a part of her success journey. If you have to gain something, then it is natural. Then you have to go through these hurdles and obstacles in your life. It's the natural part of your success journey. So it's nothing to be sad for. She is very much confident and she says that whatever I have gained, it is at the cost of those sacrifices. So she is not emotional in any way about her success. The straight looks and the answers she gives when asked about her ambition make it amply clear. Amply means plentifully, clearly. So the straight look, she is very straightforward and she is very confident. So whenever she is asked about her goal, about her ambition, ambition means your goal. So she points it out very clearly that she considers the sacrifices were worth it. Whatever tough times she has gone through, 
whatever she has endured all throughout this journey they were worth it because those hurdles were there that's why she has reached at such a position i am very very competitive she says she affirms that yes i am very very competitive competitive means uh, the people those who want to compete with others and move ahead they don't want to just get success uh, like that they want to compete with others a healthy competition you can say and get the success they deserve so she says i am very competitive i want to compete and i work hard at what i do so whatever my job is whatever i need to achieve i work hard for it it's my job so that is my passion i have to do it and this is her mantra for success mantra for success means this is her key to success she believes in this uh, thought she believes in this ideology that if you are competitive if you work hard for achieving your goal then nobody could stop you from achieving that goal for yourself so this indeed is the best ideology for life for getting success we should take this lesson from her and should also implement it in our lives isn't it now let us move to the next paragraph though maria sharapova speaks with a pronounced american accent she proudly parades her russian nationality we all know from the beginning of the story that she belonged to siberia but in order to get the training for tennis she had to move to the united states of america and then she settled there so she had learned everything from america so she speaks also with her american accent with a pronounced american accent whoever stays there speaks it like that but she proudly parades parades means displays she proudly displays her russian nationality it means she is proud of being a russian clearing all doubts she says i am russian it's true that the us is a big part of my life but i have russian citizenship my blood is totally russian i will play the olympics for russia if they want me so here she clarifies all the doubts of the people around that no doubt i have come to united states for playing tennis i learned a lot from this country but my heart and soul stays in russia so from my heart from my soul i am a russian and i know that us has given me a lot of things us has given me all this success it has played a very important vital role in my success journey but still then from my heart i am a russian and she also possesses the citizenship of russia and she wants that in future if the russian uh, government would ask her to play on their behalf on behalf of their country in the olympics she would definitely come ahead and would play for the country russia because her uh, patriotism her inner soul lies in russia now let us move to the next paragraph like any number of teen aged sensations maria sharapova lists fashion singing and dancing as her hobbies you know all these teenagers have so many fascinations have so many likes and uh, sensation sensations means something which is very trendy and on the air nowadays like if you find this bts i don't know many of the students like this bts and there are many singers they are very much impressed i just give an example of what i heard so there are these famous musical groups there are these famous cricket players like virat kohli dhoni so they are the sensations which the youngsters like a lot so she also was a teenager and she also had her likes her uh, choices isn't it she also like most of the teenagers liked fashion singing and dancing because you know most of the teenagers are hooked to this fashion and singing and dancing as a part of their life they love to wear fashionable clothes they love to dance and sing and enjoy life so she was not away from that she was also an enjoy uh, full teenager who wanted to enjoy life as the other teenagers 
she loves reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. You would have heard about this author. He's a great writer and she was also uh, interested in reading the novels of this particular writer, Arthur Conan Doyle. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love of pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks. So here there is a contrast. Again, there is something which is not going along with her choices like her like for sophisticated evening gown. Sophisticated is uh, very, very uh, luxurious. You can say very, very uh, fashionable evening gown, which is totally contradictory with her love of pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks. Fizzy means irritated which one uh, you have those bubbles in your drinks that is called fizzy. You have this apple fizzy, you have many fizzy drinks, orange fizzy drinks are available nowadays in the market. Those are irritated. So she also liked these things, but she also uh, liked wearing sophisticated evening gowns. So this tells us that she had gained so much of fame, glory and success in her life, but from heart she was still a youngster she was still a teenager who liked enjoying her life to the fullest extent. Okay. Now let us come to the next paragraph. This is the last paragraph. Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Pigeonholed means uh, segregating into a separate group or some category. Okay. Grouping uh, to a particular uh, specification. No. She cannot be grouped into any special category or any special group. She is unique. Her talent, unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world. So whatever she has gained, it is just because of her readiness to sacrifice. She was ready at such a young age to be away from her parents. She was staying uh, away from her father, from her mother. She was not with her parents. Unwavering desire which cannot be stopped to succeed, to reach towards her goal have lifted her to the top of the world. These qualities are very essential for anyone to reach to the most successful part in your life. So if you uh, sow you know, a cactus, you will get the thorns. And if you sow a mango tree, you will reap mangoes. So similarly, she has uh, sown all her efforts, hard work, dedication, sincerity. And now she is reaping success, glory, wealth. So that is quite deserving for her. She is meant to get all that because she has paid a price for all that. She has sacrificed a lot for all this. Some people who motivate you, who encourage you, who always push you to gain something in your life and there at the other side there will be some people, those who pull you down, those who will discourage you, those who will not be happy with your successes. But we have to choose the right people in our life and then with the positive people around us, let us move towards the positive path of success. She also did the same. There will be critics everywhere. Some will be positive, some will be negative. But she never let herself down with the negativity. Okay. So this is what she has to say about her monetary gains. Monetary means which is related to money. So whatever she has gained in terms of money, what she has to say about that? She says, of course, money is a motivation. Tennis is a business and a sport, but the most important thing is to become number one in the world. That's the dream that kept me going. She says that, of course, when you are uh, working hard and you get money, money is a major factor of motivating me. Money always motivates. Yes, I can get more, I can get more. Because, you know, tennis is a business, it's a sport, it is earning a lot of money from every source but what holds her in her position is the dream that she had with her the dream to be number one in the world in her field that was being at the topmost position of tennis of women's tennis 
and that was the dream that kept her going it was not only money money is just secondary when you gain all the success it comes along with the success it is not the only major factor for your success so the dream which kept her going which kept her uh, move towards her goal was the dream that she has to become number one in the world and that was the dream which has given her all the success she deserves right now. So here we come to the end of this inspiring story of Maria Sharapova. Hope you all have gathered all the positive qualities and all the positive energy from Maria's life and would definitely implement it in your lives to gain the desired success in your life. Okay? Now students, let us discuss about the differences and the points of comparison between Santosh Yadav and Maria Sharapova. I do believe that you remember about Santosh Yadav which we have already covered in the first part of this chapter reach for the top and in the second part we covered about Maria Sharapova. Now we will have a contrast based on some points. How the approaches or how the things were different for Santosh Yadav and Maria Sharapova or there was some point of similarity in both of them. Okay? So there are some points of comparison and contrast given to us we will discuss our points based on those points. Okay? Now first if we see what was the point of comparison based on their humble beginning. So how both uh, started their career differently. Let us come to Santosh Yadav. If we talk about Santosh Yadav, Santosh Yadav parents were very rich wealthy land owners who could afford with the education of Santosh Yadav. Okay? But what we have observed about Maria Sharapova, her father worked very hard day and night to collect the expenses which uh, he could give for the training of tennis of her daughter. Okay? Let us come to the next point of comparison. It is about their parents approach. How were the parents approach for both of these young ladies? Now, uh, in case of Santosh Yadav, if we see that she always wanted to study a bit more, a bit more and her father slowly got used to her urge and supported her towards the later phase. But if we see about Maria Sharapova, her mother was compelled to stay back in Siberia just for uh, helping her daughter out with her training and her father was working as much as he could do and she was not able to see both of her parents. So this uh, is the difference with the approach of the parents. Now next point of comparison is their willpower and strong desire to succeed. Now I must say both of them had very strong willpower and determination for succeeding. In case of Santosh Yadav, she was equipped with an iron will, physical endurance and an amazing mental toughness. Isn't it? And in the case of Maria Sharapova, she had endured so many humiliations and insults in her life. But in spite of getting depressed from all those adversities, from all those situations, she became more quietly determined and mentally tough. Okay. Now let us move to the next point of comparison. The evidence of their mental toughness. How will you get to know about their mental toughness? What was the evidence of that? We could see it very clearly in case of Santosh Yadav. The culmination of her hard work and sincerity came in 1942 when she was the first woman to climb Mount Everest. And in case of Maria Sharapova, that something in her lifted her on Monday, 22nd August 2005 to the world number one position in women's tennis. On both the cases, they were very hard working and they got the desired goal, the outcome of their hard work. 
Now the last point of comparison is their patriotism, the feeling towards their country. If we see in the case of Santosh Yadav, she was so proud at the moment when she unfurled the Indian tricolor and held it high and the moment was indescribable and she felt so proud to be an Indian at that moment. Similarly, Maria Sharapova also feels very much proud to be a Russian. She says her blood is completely Russian and if she is offered, if she gets an opportunity to play on behalf of her country, she would definitely play the Olympics for Russia if they want her to. So here we come to the end of the comparison between some important points of contrast between both the lives of Maria Sharapova and Santosh Yadav. That's all for today's class. And I do believe that you will take the example of these two young successful ladies and would definitely implement the positive traits, the qualities which we have learned about them today and would implement it in your lives to become successful and to achieve your desired goal. So with this hope, I leave and wish to meet you soon again in the next class. Thank you. That's all for today.